I want to start by uh, acknowledging that we're meeting on the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. I want to thank Yvonne for that uh, fantastic uh, acknowledgement of country and acknowledge we've also got um, another councillor Adam with us here today. And I want to also acknowledge as well as Layla, the CEO, uh, Mary Ann Perkovic, the chair, and say how fantastic it was to hear from Alice and from Claire, who's on my Ministerial uh, Council for a Circular Economy, and from my very dear friend, Bianca Spender. It's really terrific to have an insight into the, exactly the sort of changes we can make. So uh, about every Christmas or so, um, most of us, me included, Marie Kondo, the wardrobe, and you get the, the big bunch of things that you and your kids uh, have been not wearing all year that no longer spark joy. Uh, and you take them down probably to uh, Binnie's or some equivalent. Uh, if you're very good, you've properly sorted them. Uh, if not, you're wish cycling. And what you're doing is actually saying to those charities, my rubbish is your problem, you sort it for me. Uh, that costs them millions of dollars a year. We actually need to get much better at this in this country. The average Australian uh, produces about 10 kilograms of clothing waste each year. So we're throwing out the equivalent of, say, two winter coats, six pairs of pants, three dresses, five t-shirts, a pair of shoes, and a bag of odd socks every year. Times that by 25 million. Like it's actually, when you think about, you say a quarter of a million tonnes of clothing going into landfill every year, it's pretty hard to conceptualise how big an amount that is. And of course there's the waste, there's the, the economic waste of using something a few times and sticking it in the landfill. But there's also the huge environmental impact of doing that. So we know, for example, that um, cl some clothes that break down release microplastics into the soil and eventually into our water streams. The average Australian's ingesting a credit card's worth of microplastics every week through the food we consume, as it gets into our food cycle, through the water we drink. Uh, we're finding microplastics in breast milk and placentas. So it's not good for us to keep doing this to our environment. And of course, clothing, the, the manufacture of clothing is very emissions intensive. Global, global textile production releases more carbon dioxide than the international flight and maritime industries put together. And if you see the sort of consumer movement in Europe to say don't fly anywhere because of the carbon emissions, you have to think, um, is this coming for our industry as well? You need to be thinking ahead to see whether that's the case. So this is where this scheme comes in. It is about uh, saying we don't accept this exponential growth of waste going into our landfill, this exponential uh, use of raw materials that then just get wasted, we've got to do something different. And so uh, it's about choosing materials that can be recycled more effectively, it's about encouraging businesses that repair, remodel, remanufacture, it's about educating people so they shop more sustainably, it's about investing in better collection and sorting practices so we can identify higher value materials and more easily give them a second life. And it does that by charging a tiny levy on every item of clothing, four cents on an item of clothing. There is no way on God's earth that Australian consumers are going to object to four cents on an item of clothing to stop it going into landfill. Australians want to recycle. We saw the way people responded when Red Cycle went bust. Like, Across the community, people were alarmed by that. Australians want to recycle. They want to minimise the impact they're having on the natural environment. And if you can do that, if you can help them do that for four cents on an item of clothing, they're going to be patting you on the back. So I want to firstly congratulate the Australian Fashion Council uh, and the CEO Layla Naji Hibri in particular for bringing the scheme together. And I particularly want to congratulate the foundation members. Big W, Rip Curl, the iconic 
RM Williams, David Jones and Lorna Jane. This is a really fantastic contribution that your businesses are making to Australian fashion as a whole and most particularly to the Australian environment. Uh, I know that your customers will thank you, your shareholders will thank you, um, your staff. This is a really important thing to do for the morale of the people that work with you. Your staff will congratulate you. And one of the really important things I'd say to the Foundation members is thank you for leading the way. And to those of you who have not yet signed up, this is an important message to you. Please, please sign up. Um, we have a choice here. This can be an industry-led approach. You collect the money, you decide how the money is best used, you invest in the research you need, you invest in the collection systems you need, you take charge, or I'll do it. This is your, this is your one year warning. I've been really clear that this is too big an environmental problem to turn our backs on. I want to see industry leadership. I don't want to be making these decisions for you. But if I don't see enough movement in a year, then I will regulate. I will regulate. So thank you so much for... Um, thank you so much for those of you um, who are... Thank you to those of you who are leading the way. Uh, to those of you who are looking on enthusiastically, I say jump right in, now's the time. Uh, and to those of you who are a bit sceptical, I'll say you, you've got two choices. You join in or I take over. <laughs> so, um, so please get on board. And uh, thank you so much to all of you for today. Great event. Thanks.